Welcome back to my channel for another episode. In this video, I will show you how to write multiple user-defined functions in a single GNE Octave and MATLAB script file. At the end, I will show you how to run the develop user-defined function. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. You know what to do to support my channel. To show how to write multiple user-defined function in a single GNU Octave and MATLAB script file, I will use a very simple example. In this example, I will develop two user-defined functions to calculate surface area and volume of a sphere with a radius of r and display the predicted surface area and volume with a radius of 1. As you know, the formula for the surface area and volume of the sphere with a radius of r is a 4 pi r squared and 4 over 3 pi r cubed. To find some more details information on how to develop a user-defined function, you can watch my other tutorial video in the description down below, or click the caption right upper corner of the screen. Probably, what you need is to write three separate M files to get this programming done. The first two user-defined functions are to calculate the surface area of the sphere and volume respectively, and the last one is a main function to call these functions. If you know how to create separate user-defined functions, you can simply skip this portion of the video and directly jump ahead to continue to watch how to create a single M file for all necessary functions by finding the timeline in the description down below. For the first user defined function, I will use a function name cal area and define output A for the surface area of the sphere and R for the input for the radius of the sphere. Then add end at the end to close the user defined function. In the middle, I need to define the relation between the output A and input R, thus I can use A equals 4 pi R square. Basically, this function receives the input R as a numeric value and calculate the surface area by using 4 pi R square and then return the surface area out of this function through the output variable A. Once done, you need to save the M file name as a cal underscore area.m in the working directory. Please make sure that you keep the M file name as a function name. To identify the current working directory, you can check it in the top portion of Octave or MATLAB main window. In this case, it should be C Mr. Stem at you, Octave, and it can be different from your screen. To relocate the current working directory, you can click the folder icon to change. Once you save, you can find cal underscore area.m in the current working directory by checking it in the file browser in Octave or MATLAB main window, or you can type dir to see the M file. Similarly, you can write the second M file to calculate the volume of the sphere with the radius of R. I will use cal underscore ball for the function and M file name, B for the volume of the sphere as an output variable, and R for the sphere radius as an input variable. Then you can close the function with the end at the end. In the middle, you can define the relation between the output variable b versus input variable r as v equals 4 over 3 pi r cubed. You can save this script as a cal underscore ball dot m in the current working directory, and you can find the new m file in the current working directory. To call these functions, I will write a script called main.m. You can open the new script using the script editor and then define the radius r equals 1. Then you can call the function cal underscore area with the radius r to calculate the surface area of the sphere and then save the output in the variable a. Similarly, you can call the function cal underscore ball 
with the radius r to calculate the volume of the sphere and then save the output in the variable b. To display the area and volume, I can use the appprintf function. The appprintf function requires the specifier followed by the variables that you'd like to replace the specifiers. In this case, I can display the text area equals area followed by volume equals volume. Thus, we can begin with appprintf area equals percentage f, comma volume equals percentage f backslash n, comma area, comma v. I use percentage f to display the area and volume as a floating numbers. Once done, you can save this script as a main.m file in the current working directory and run by clicking the run icon. You can see the predicted surface area and volume of the sphere with the radius of 1 in the command window. Question comes how to have all these three functions in the single octave and MATLAB script. First of all, I will bring two user defined functions into the single M file. When you copy and paste them, and each function begins with the function and finish it by adding end at the end. Since we have two sub functions such as cal underscore area and cal underscore volume, then I have two functions. Unfortunately, you cannot use this function properly unless you use this approach. Now, to use it properly, you can add the main function. The way you can add the main function is to begin with the function followed by function name without output and input variables. You do not need to define them since you do not need to receive the input and return the output values. Now I simply use main as a function name without input and output variables. I will delete all other M files from my current working directory to make sure that this is only M file that you are running. Now I save and run and you can find the result in the command window. Thanks for watching this video until the end and please subscribe my channel if you want to continue to watch similar videos in future. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to share your thoughts in comment section down below. See you next time.